salmon are definitely an iconic species, especially here on the Eel River, which is the third largest salmon run here in California. Salmon are extremely important for the ecology of Northern California forest. They bring those marine derived nutrients all the way from the ocean up and they essentially feed the forests and they feed the critters that live in the forest. The eel is really unique uh, in that it has a significant uh, amount of its population, almost 100% as wild fish. When you hear the, you know, the kind of stories from the old timers about the runs were so thick you could walk across the salmon's back or you could catch them with pitchforks. I mean, it just gives you an idea of how present they were on the landscape. We have witnessed in a relatively short amount of time a rapid decline in the populations of coho. In California, annual returns across the state for coho salmon in the 1940s would have been in the numbers of about 400,000. And now we're looking at anywhere from two to 10% of those kinds of returns. It's really no secret that the Eel River has had its fair share of hardships, um, you know, with with irresponsible land use practices a long time ago. And it started with mining and then logging. They would build a dam in the middle of the creek, fill it up with water and logs, and then dynamite it during a big winter storm. And those logs would come down and scour out the entire channel bed, disrupting all the fish nests and any other living thing that was in the creek. The legacy forest practices that occurred were really a mentality of cut and run before we really had a better awareness of the environmental impacts, there was significant damage to the watershed during those times. When our owners purchased the Humboldt Redwood Company lands, there was a deep desire to get these forests back to their former glory. You know, the timber companies of today are not the timber companies of yesterday. And we're really fortunate here on the North Coast that we do have timber companies that really value restoration as a part of their business. Humboldt Redwood Company allows us to come on their land and restore the habitat. Yes. We have to eventually figure out whether these fish are moving upstream or downstream. I think the lower eel and Van Dusen population has been identified as a core population, meaning that it's essential for recovery in order to take them off of the Endangered Species Act. The Lawrence Creek off-channel habitat restoration projects are really exciting for us to be working on right now. We do affectionately call it Larry 1.0 and Larry 2.0. During a really strong rain event, the creeks swell up bank to bank and these fish have no escape. The water is so turbid that they can't see in front of their faces, let alone find little bits of food to eat. So coho are particularly good at sniffing out those off channels and those clean water inlets and they follow them up into slack water areas such as these where normally they would be fighting for their lives. The temperature and the dissolved oxygen are such that these fish can not only persist, but they can thrive. And we know that because we pit tag them and we recapture them all summer long. And we can get growth rates on those same identical fish. Fresh fish. Freshy. Ooh. Look at that guy. 15.4 grams. As soon as you pull the equipment and the habitat feature filled up, you throw the minnow traps in there and the fish show up. They all caught fish. How many got? Oh my goodness. <laughs> my whole career is revolving around the coho salmon and to have them appear the first year after construction, um, that, uh, that really means a lot. As a restorationist, you can't ask for anything more satisfying than to immediately see fish using a feature that you helped um, build or enhance. You have a certain responsibility when you own lands like this and have the opportunity to bring back habitat for these fish. Since we put these projects in, it really has taken on a life of, boy, build it and they will come. 
As resource professionals, even though we address resources in a very different way, we're able to come together and really get some good work done as a result. We couldn't do recovery without our partners. You can definitely do a lot more when you have everyone on board uh, and everyone shaking their head yes as to moving forward with projects like these that benefit Coho Salmon.